Hello students, good evening. I am Jagan Babu, Assistant Professor, Department of EC, RMD Engineering College, Autonomous Institution, Kavarapete. The subject name is Discrete Time Signal Crossing. Subject code is 21EC601, Semester 6, Department EC. So currently I am taking this subject for the present third year students. Okay. I am going to deal this subject in unit number 4 finite word length effects the important topic is called as overflow error in that overflow error we have limit cycle oscillation and dead band filters in that we are going to see about the dead band students are remembering only dead band dead band means we have there no only dead band formula based on the two more questions actually what is dead band filter how the graph to be there dead band see the filter diagram before going to the dead band we need to understand the prerequisite of this particular dead band topic we need to remember the basic communication signals, modulation technique signals, then we need to understand the encoding concepts. I think you remember you should be correlated with this digital communication and communication theory. Then basic is signals and system and mathematics. Mainly where this is going to apply? Purely filter topics, filter concepts. Okay, dead band. Dead band deals only with the limit cycle oscillation concepts. Limit cycle oscillation is nothing but when we have the two numbers 0 and 1, the output will be 1. When we add the two numbers 1 and 1, it becomes 10. So 0, 1 will be the carry. That 1 carry becomes called as a overflow error. So two numbers, two numbers the output will be the same 0 plus 0 or 0 plus 1. When we take one more value to be outside, that is called carry. That carry is called as overflow error. Should we avoid this overflow error, then we have the limit cycle oscillation. We need to limit that. We take a different situation, we are going to substitute the value, particular value and the range. If the range will be limited with not with any of the suffi sufficient carries, so it is called as limit cycle oscillation. The output will be limited, it will be continuously changing with the input to the output. That when we have the limit cycle oscillation, we have the concept called as dead band filter. Actually, what is my dead band filter? The dead band filter of the filter where the signal has been transmitting through the limit cycle oscillation to be completely stopped when the, the cycle to be not to be repeated again. So from the 0 to value 1, 2, 3, 4. Up to the fourth value, it will not be continued. It is going to stop completely. See this dead band filter diagram. The x-axis as the y-axis, input and output curve is there. When the line will be taking from the negative value to the positive value, it will be continuously changing, continuously moving from the lower value to the higher value. It will be traveling for the particular signal, like, like a cost signal, minus 1 to 1. It will be remains a constant. Remaining value continuously increasing as well as decreasing through the input and output. In between the increasing and decreasing value, there will be the constant value from minus 1 to 1. That is called the dead band. Because the bandwidth cannot be varied from this minus 1 to 1, that particular range, minus x to x, completely stopped. That is called as dead band filter. Next, we have the another set of the diagram. Again, the input to the output. Same being output dead band voltage V with the controlled voltage V. There again same positive value and negative value. See the signal value where the dead band lies between from denominator of the minus 1, the lower part to the upper part of the plus 1. In between the value will be remains constant. So this is called as dead band filter because the value cannot be extended more. Then third diagram input versus the output. We have the linear curve. In that linear curve, the curve cannot be the linear always because it may be vary through the dead band. See slightly changing the curve with respect to input and output that is called a stimulus. The stimulus is nothing but the dead band filter occurs between the input and output side where it cannot be, the filter cannot be varied from the values, completely going to be dead. The value cannot be repeated more that is called the stimulus value. In between the gap between of the linear curve the stimulus value that is called as dead band filter. We will see the next topic in the next class students. Thank you.